Hi everyone, my name's Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Class A motorhomes, in particular the Ace Class A motorhome, which has been since really its inception the top brand of motorhomes out there in the industry. Uh, how they do it, they build really innovative floor plans that are a little bit shorter than a lot of the competition so you can get in those hard to find you know, spots and campsites along the way and they just offer a lot of amenities for their price. Uh, the Ace is a Thor motorhome. Thor builds more motorhomes than anyone else in the United States. So they have a huge economy of scale. Now there is a lot of competition in this size of Class A's, but no one can, can keep up with a Thor Ace because Thor Ace builds more, so therefore they're able to get a better price on just about everything in the motorhome from awnings to chassis to generators to refrigerators they can they have a huge economy of scale so they can buy in bigger quantities and therefore get a better price and therefore offer you a nicer motorhome at a better price in the competition all right i'm going to turn this around we're going to show you this this is the all new 2020 this is what the 2020 and 2021s are going to look like uh, this is a 2020 and a half So the Thor Ace, new for the 2020 and a half, so is what the 2021 is going to have. They have this partial paint, which they've painted the front brow uh, up here with automotive paint. Uh, still have the one-piece windshield there. Still have the uh, nice chrome mirrors with built-in uh, side vision monitors on it. Uh, coming around here, the front is all one solid fiberglass front cap, which the Thor Ace has been known for. Uh, coming around to the side. This is the 27.2, which is the shortest ace with two slides and a king bed, uh, which I'm excited to show you that when I get inside. But these two slides really open it up nicely inside. This is built on the Ford chassis, which will come with a Ford V10 power plant on board. Have some storage out here in the cargo areas, your propane tank in the first one, nice big storage bay in the second one here. The storage bays are all a rotocast plastic material. You can literally take a hose and clean them out, which is nice. A lot of the competition still is using carpet, which is placed over wood. Uh, these compartments, just from experience, they get damp. Uh, just from being outside, they collect condensation from the road and such. It's nice having a, a material that's not affected by the elements like wood is in this compartment. Another thing that kind of just sets the ace apart. More of your utility connection there. Going to be a dump spot and also it has uh, outside shower and it does come with a black tank flush. Most of these storage compartments also have lights which I like. Uh, so if you're working in the dark you can get some nice lights. Uh, this is a fully self-contained motorhome, meaning it does have a, a power plant on board, and this is a Cummins uh, 4,000 kilowatt gasoline generator that's going to power everything inside of this coach at any time. Has a walkable roof with a ladder to get up there, one-piece uh, seamless roof design as well. Does come with a hitch here. Uh, you can see it is an 8,000 pound capacity hitch with a 500 pound tongue limit. Uh, also comes with built in seven pin and four pin. Coming on more of the fun side of the motorhome has a power awning, which I just have out partially uh, due to space constrictions. Uh, some more storage along the, the belt line here. has an outside entertainment system, which is gonna come with this flat screen TV and the sound bar. That sound bar is Bluetooth capable. So you play your music on that. And here's a little bit of the inner workings. It does have leveling jack. That's your pump motor for those and your batteries for the house side or the RV side, uh, which is really nice. So uh, I will speak on this when we get in here. This little window down by the passenger's feet, which I really like, really helps with that blind spot. Uh, right there. I used to do it years ago and I'm, I'm glad to see Ace has really done that since its inception. Okay, this is the 27.2. Uh, this motorhome is very affordable if you're looking at Class A motorhomes. Uh, power step as we come in uh, and three entry steps to get up into the motorhome. 
So we're gonna start up here in the cockpit. I'll kind of zoom back a little bit to get you a feeling of what we're what we're looking at here. Okay, so before we get to the cockpit, I do want to show you that Ace is one of the first companies to do this. It comes with a power bed. I'm, I'm doing that right now, just pushing a button. You notice it's coming down. That's going to be a nice extra sleeping spot for you. And what I love about these power beds is it's there if you need it, and it's really not in the way if you don't. So you notice I, I did that literally while I was filming this. Uh, it's a nice big bed up there, mattress. You have all the cubbies around there uh, for storage. Uh, and then you could just literally push the button and up it goes as well. There is a ladder. You see those two black uh, things on the edge? There's a ladder I got laying back there on the main bed uh, for that there. So notice how it's raising up here. There's actually going to be two magnets on both uh, corners closest to us that's going to do the final securing of that bed, two magnets. So really a slick design. The cockpit of this motorhome is really unique. Uh, Class A motorhomes, I love the visibility. So you notice the big windows. Uh, also another thing part nice about this this has a built-in brow uh, which I showed you on the outside it's basically the overhang that's built into the front cap that's going to be a an awesome sun visor because with these big windshields with the sun really beaming down on you on a hot day it's nice having that brow that sticks out very few class a motorhomes have that in fact I don't know if I've ever seen on anything but the ace uh, it's just a built-in sun protector think of baseball cap all right, driver's area here. So we have automatic leveling jack controls here. We have uh, heated mirror controls uh, and remote mirror controls there and a beverage holder. Uh, the cockpit steering controls are just the same as all Ford full-size vehicles. You have your cruise control buttons on the steering wheel here. You have your fuel gauge, tachometer, and mile per hour, along with coolant gauge and transmission uh, temperature all right there. Uh, new for this year is this new 10-inch flat screen radio. Uh, this also acts as uh, your side vision cameras, which let's see if I can get them to turn on here. Yep, so this is our right side. And what I'm doing here is I'm turning the turn signal on and that activates these uh, cameras. There's your left side with the left turn. And then here is your backup monitor. All I did was put it in reverse to get that to pop up. So that's all automatic. Again, touchscreen, easy, friendly to use radio. It does Bluetooth, does it all. Uh, heating and air conditioning controls right below that. And then you do have a couple power spots here uh, for your uh, phone and things of that sort. The passenger seat, both seats swivel. I do have the passenger seat so you can see. They're really comfortable chairs as well. Uh, the dog uh, house here is nicely done as well. In the past, I've seen manufacturers carpet these or do some weird leather wraps on them. This is a nice, it's a fiberglass type material. It's going to be durable. Uh, it really looks good. And it doesn't stick up so darn high either. Uh, this here is going to be a workstation for that passenger seat. Uh, and then also in the passenger spot, we have more power stations here and then heating and air controls and also have an electrical outlet down there. And check out that side uh, little window there. So that's going to be a great blind spot uh, where you're traveling down the road, maybe on the interstate you need to switch over uh, to the right lane. You'll be able to see if a car is right there. So I really like that option there. All right. Moving from the cockpit, we jump into more of the living area. Comes with a couch with sleeper uh, capabilities, two beverage holders of those black circles behind it. And then across from that, uh, which I like, direct viewing is the television. Also, if you're sitting at the table, you can watch the television as well. The table is extra sleeping. The, the uh, table here will actually come down. It's on a dream dinette mechanism there. Very easy to do. Uh, just basically push it down and down it comes and then these cushions will lay flat. Uh, again, good viewing of the television. Kitchen here is a nice uh, complete kitchen. Uh, search with your microwave over here to the left. 
uh, some kitchen cabinets right beside that. Coming down, we have good countertop space. Uh, it is a seamless countertop. It's not a Formica type of countertop. A uh, big stainless steel basin sink. Uh, we have the residential faucet on this one as well. Uh, nice deep countertops, which I like to point out. Uh, and also the oven here is a three, bra three burner uh, gas stove uh, with a big oven. And then we have plenty of drawers, four sets of drawers here. Get these open here. So they're full, full depth drawers, uh, so you can get to the very back of the drawer. Uh, they're metal roller glided as well. Nice in and out. Uh, across from the kitchen, we have your RV refrigerator. Uh, this does come with the industry's best three-year warranty provided by Thor. Um, but this refrigerator here is going to be a dual mode refrigerator. So you'll be able to work this without the generator while you're traveling down the road. It'll run just off of battery power and propane. Nice size refrigerator. Coming back to the bedroom. So this bedroom is actually shut off by this really cool uh, sliding door. So back up here, I'll open up on us because we're on a little bit of a hill here. But you get the idea there. I didn't have it latched. Uh, but it does latch in the closed position. So nice privacy there. Uh, comes with a king bed, which is really unusual in a 27 foot motorhome. But yeah, it's actually a king bed. Uh, it's on the slide out here. So you have room all around the bed to get around. Um, and then on both sides of the bed, uh, you do have power, USB power there. Have reading lights above and then storage above in the cab cabinets up there. Uh, also in the bedroom here, we have a, a whole RV fan. Uh, the fan's really going to move the air well in this RV. And then it comes with your built-in 32-inch television. Uh, closed storage would be right here in this mirrored cabinet. I have a big hanging rod, so you can hang a lot of clothes in there. And then we have a drawer and a, uh, a little bit more space on below that. Now through this door here is going to be your bath bathroom. This is all in one bathroom, so it has a shower, built-in tub surround, sink, hot and cold water, uh, storage below there for extra toiletries. You have a decent footprint here, so you could get changed. You'd have room to sit on the stool. Uh, and then we have a nice little cabinet up here in the corner, uh, skylight above the tub, and a fan for the bathroom. Uh, now this is ducted uh, air conditioning and heat in this. Uh, again, you can run anything anywhere on this motorhome, so. Uh, that pretty much completes this walkthrough of this uh, Thor Ace. So if you have any questions, I'll post links below that have financing information. that will have uh, this particular unit, the listing and the price and all that. Uh, also, if you have a trade-in, we'd love to have that. I'll post a link for that. So uh, if you think of anything else, by all means, just call us. Uh, the phone number will be right on the website. So thanks for watching.